I welcome honorable guests Monica Aroraji, Chitra Ramchandran Garu, Katrakita Prasuna Garu, Bhattu Satnanan Garu, and Saumya Garu. I thank them on behalf of Samskriti Foundation for making this morning very special for accepting our invitation to participate in the Samskriti Samvad on women empowerment and Indian prospective. I take this opportunity to share some light and innocent Indian thought on women empowerment in comparison to Western concept of the same. Empowerment of women is a relatively recent movement in the context of human development. So far, the Western world is concerned. India has long been a civilization giving immense respect of women and providing them equal opportunities to exercise power in day-to-day -day life and important decisions. Sri Ekadaite Gauravinta Bartundo Akada Devatul Nivasa Muntaru Ani Purana Lu Pedal Padepade Chapune Untaru. Adavarni Aravinche Sanskriti Mari. Mana Devara Lukuda Amavar Lena twenty Devala and Ekarman Samadan the Kalpinchat. Adabar Kuna twenty, Mila Kuna twenty, Shakti, Abhara Mina twenty, Mana, Vityasalu, Manoka, Mano, Aneka, Charitra Logodamaru, Chutuna. The concept of women empowerment in the cultural perspective of Indian brings out of the anomalies in the modern. Western concept of women empowerment, which is one-sided and largely metallurgical in nature, leading of choice and uh, imbalance in personal as well as social life. This misconception needs to be immediately modified for the larger interest of the mankind, creating better opportunities for life on this beautiful planet. The ways and means to empower women in the true sense as per the Indian thought and philosophy need to be explored, our Bhagavad Gita says. The secret of empowerment is the self-empower and balance in all walks of life, Bhagavad Gita. Empowerment of women is not new even to modern India. It is women from India who are first to be graduated from the entire British Empire even before in any British woman was graduated. One is Kadambini Ganguli. Kadambini Ganguli and Chandramukhi Basu were the first two female graduates from India and the entire British Empire. Kadambini was a graduate in medicine and Chandramukhi was from arts. Their formal degrees were handed during the con convocation of the university in 1883. It is great harm to welcome, share the dias with great women who are empowered in their own fields today. I welcome them to share their thoughts with us. Thank you.